Hey everybody, Mark here. Want to do a quick video about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, Red Bull Soapbox um, front spindle weld fixture. Um, really cool about this. We went and off the uh, CAD model, we went and modeled a fixture. It's just 3D printed, made out of uh, ABS plastic. We modeled a fixture um, that we could do our front um, a spindle assembly with. So um, you can buy some. You can buy the spindle assembly done on go karts, um, but we were looking for the right height um, for our car. Uh, so we have the uh, the tube that goes in the center, uh, the bolts, um, the kingpin will actually go through the center of this. Um, but you can see it slides really nice into it. It's a really nice fit. Um, the bolt, the bolt will be where the bearing and the wheel will sit on. So we'll tack that into place. And then we have our arm that will go right on top. And all we have to do is, um, is put it up to this edge right here. And that will give us our 44 degrees. Um, so we have uh, the best Ackerman angle possible for the race car. So while we're turning, uh, we'll have the least amount of scrubbing in each one of the wheels. But that is the uh, fixture. I'm gonna weld it up and I'll take it out and have another quick video about it. Uh, but you will see the file on Thingiverse. Um, you might not be able to use it in yours, um, but you can get an idea about how we used it and then uh, copy the idea and make your own. So I hope this helps and I'll show you the next video. So after tack welding the arms together, um, the fixture came out pretty good. Um, at the beginning, I did probably too many tacks. You can see it did get warm over here. It is thin and pretty hollow. Um, didn't really change anything. I had to sand down the top here to do the opposite side, but the spindle brackets came out okay. I need to probably re do a little bit more welding on them. I'm not an expert, um, but that is the right. Oh, wait. That is actually the left spindle. So that's the left side, the arms go in. And this would be the right spindle. So there is our spindle arms ready for the next step. So thanks for watching. I'll upload the file um, online. If you guys have any questions about how I designed it or why, uh, please leave comments below. And I'll try to get to them as fast as I can.